Namaste everyone, I am your co-host Shauni Ma'am. Welcome to your favorite learning channel. The topic for today's video is What are nutrients? What is a balanced diet? What is its importance? So we already are familiar with these terms nutrients and balanced diet because we have always heard our parents saying that we should have a balanced diet that is full of nutrients. So today we will understand how to define these terms and its importance. So we will start with the term nutrients okay or nutrient. So what is a nutrient? A nutrient is actually a substance okay. And this substance supports, okay, this supports as well as it maintains, okay, it supports and maintains life and growth, okay, it ma maintains life and growth of a living organism, so such a substance is called a nutrient. Now this nutrient it is of two different types. So what are these types? One is macronutrient. Okay. Macro nutrient. So, what are macronutrients? These are the nutrients that are required in large amounts by our body. Okay. For example, carbohydrates, proteins, etc. These are required in larger amounts in our body. The other type of nutrient is called micronutrient and these nutrients they are required in smaller amounts. Okay, These nutrients are required in smaller amounts by our body. For example, vitamins and minerals okay so this is about nutrients now let's see what is a balanced diet okay so a balanced diet is the one it is the one which contains it contains all the essential okay it contains all the essential nutrients okay and these essential nutrients that are present in a balanced diet are required by us in definite okay they are required in definite as well as necessary proportions in necessary proportions okay so this kind of a diet is called a balanced diet okay so this balanced diet includes what does it include? It includes nutrients like carbohydrates, it includes proteins, fats, vitamins, then minerals as well as fiber which is the dietary fiber. So, carbohydrates can be obtained from food sources like rice, wheat, etc. Then proteins can be obtained from beans, meat, etc. 
fats can be obtained from butter ghee then vitamins and minerals can be obtained from fruits and vegetables and fiber is not actually a nutrient but must be included in a balanced diet as it helps in proper digestion of food and fibers can be obtained from plant based diet okay now the different nutrients that we studied they are required in different proportions like carbohydrates are required in the largest amounts okay carbohydrate is required in largest amounts and this requirement is followed by the requirement of proteins and fats okay and the vitamins and minerals these are required in smaller proportions or smaller amounts by our body okay so this is about balanced diet now that we know what is a balanced diet can you think of a few points that could be the advantages of balanced diet so let's see what are the advantages or importance of a balanced diet okay so this balanced diet it leads to it leads to a good physical as well as good mental health okay now as it leads to a good physical health okay this in turn would increase this increases the efficiency okay this increases the efficiency of a person so the efficiency of a person is increased when his or her physical health is in good condition and good physical health comes from having a balanced diet then a balanced diet also helps in the proper growth and development okay it helps in the proper growth and development of the body okay then it also increases the immunity it increases the immunity of the body by the help of which our body helps or body develops the ability to fight against different infections and diseases okay so now let's just quickly revise the things that we have studied so we have studied about nutrients first we saw that nutrients are those substances that support and maintain life and growth of a living organism we saw that nutrients are of two types one is macronutrient and the other is micronutrient my macronutrients are the ones which are required in larger amounts by our bodies for example carbohydrates proteins etc then micronutrients are those that are required in smaller amounts by our bodies for example vitamins minerals etc then we saw that a balanced diet is the one that contains all the essential nutrients that are required by our body and that which are present in definite and necessary proportions okay so this balanced diet includes nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals and fibers these fibers are actually not nutrients but they are required for proper digestion of food 
so we saw that carbohydrates are required in the largest amounts in our body and this requirement is followed by the requirement of proteins and fats then the vitamins and minerals are required in smaller amounts by our bodies then we also discussed about the importance of balanced diet we saw that a balanced diet leads to a good physical as well as good mental health now this good physical health that comes by consuming a balanced diet this in turn increases the efficiency of a person then a balanced diet also helps in proper growth as well as proper development of the body and it also increases the immunity of the body that increases the ability of our body to fight against different diseases and infections so i hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video please do not forget to like and share the video till then thank you for watching